Hey guys, what's up? It's TDRP Cubing here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the RS3M 2020 X Man Bell version 2 and the Sangso Magnetic Clock. <laughs> the Mofeng Jiaoshi RS3M 2020 had quite a lot of main potential right out of the box, and since setup, it's gotten even better and become my main. I put the spring compression on the fourth setting, loosened the tensions a little bit, looped the core with max command, and lastly, looped the pieces with max fleet and mystic. Now, this cube was really, really good before setup, but since setup, it's gotten a lot better, and it's no wonder that it's become my main since then. This cube has a nice plush feel and some really smooth turning. It's also really fast and controllable, which I like quite a lot. Performance on it is amazing, no matter how nervous you are. In my first ever competition average with this cube and cubing at home 1.5, I was pretty nervous, but I still managed to get my best ever competition average with it. I could also perform pretty well under pressure with the Valk 3 Elite, but performance under pressure with this cube is even better. This cube is awesome, and best of all, it only costs $8.99. Overall, this cube is a major upgrade from the original MF3 RS3M, and it is much more than just a good budget cube. I would without a doubt recommend buying this if you haven't already. It's the best 3x3 on the market for its price, and it's also one of the best 3x3s in general. The X-Man Bell version 2 was really good right off the bat, and it hasn't failed to impress me since then. After setup, this puzzle started to feel even better than before. I kept the magnets on the stronger setting, and I looped the pieces with Max Fleet and Mystic. Since breaking in after setup, this puzzle has improved quite a lot, and now it's my main. This Pyraminx has a nice, smooth, buttery feel that I really like, and it's also a teeny bit clunky. My performance with it has been just about the same as what I performed on the Yushin Huanglong Pyraminx, but a little bit more consistent. Honestly, the Bell version 2 and the Huanglong Pyraminx's performance are very, very close for me. So at any point, the Huanglong Pyraminx could become my main again. It all depends on what I prefer at the moment. Overall, this Pyraminx is really good, and it's such a good upgrade from the original Bell. And while its performance is really close to the Huanglong Pyraminx's performance, it's only $2 more. So go ahead and get it for yourself. Most people I know don't even like the Huanglong Pyraminx, so most likely you will prefer this Pyraminx over that one. The Sangso Magnetic Clock was a pretty decent puzzle right out of the box, and since I unboxed it, it hasn't improved that much. I've broken it in with a few averages on it since first impressions, and it has gotten better, but not much. It has a pretty mediocre feel that doesn't outperform the Lingao Clock. The only thing better about this one is the fact that it's magnetic. Unfortunately, my Lingao is in competition legal because one of the pins falls down whenever you shake it. So to be honest, I have a feeling that with or without magnets, the Lingao clock would still be my main over this one if it were competition legal. However, this puzzle is still not that bad overall. And it's a dollar less than the Lingao, so go ahead and pick one up for yourself if you have the opportunity to. Plus, this one doesn't require any kind of special setup to keep the pins from falling down when it shaken. So that guys was the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions then make sure to ask them down in the comments below. Besides that, have a good day and bye. See you next time.